you already know all things sports and entertainment we have another um topic you know it could be a little triggering but as y'all see in the image um uh the sister right here says single successful men don't date women with kids is so sassy to me baby how you grown how you a grown man but scared of some kids how you allow some kids to let you miss out on this good woman is giving you weak now uh, but before I, I talk about it salute to the sister salute to these kids you know the kids is innocent with with all of this but you know this is what a lot of sisters don't understand if, if this was 1950 you know when 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 stepfathers were fought were honored and you know like when my grandparents was going growing up in the 30s and 40s you know my great grandparents got a divorce my grandmother my great grandmother was fortunate enough to marry somebody else and he raised my grand my actual grandparents as his own kids you know you don't you don't really see that a lot because we're not celebrated men who raise other people's kids aren't really celebrated i've done it some of y'all have done it and it's like you get the raw end of the deal and then on top of that you have three kids right I'm going to assume they all had the same daddy, but let's just say, okay, let's see if they do. How do we know how your, how, how your child's father is? Is he crazy? How come y'all didn't work it out? Is he in jail? You know, is me and him going to have any, any smoke? And then you got a little daughter. So when your daughter, you know, what's going to happen when your kids become teenagers? You know, y'all start walking around saying, you ain't my daddy. And then when you try to discipline the kids, oh, don't, you ain't going to say that to my kids. I got good kids. Being a stepfather is no longer valued like it used to be in our, in our community. Other communities it is. Because I got other people, other people I grew up with, they got married, had kids, got divorced, got remarried, had more kids, got divorced, and they on their third marriage. But with us, you know, we, we're, we're taught to put the kids first. I mean, to have babies first. And then you expect somebody to to help help you raise them. But it's like, OK, can I discipline them? Can I instill my own values in them? Are you going to interject? What's going to happen when these kids start start bucking up? Can I go, you know, can I can I go grab? Can I do what I got to do to put them in a place? You know, and then a lot of sisters say, well, it's a package deal. It's a package deal. No, if you want me to pick you, you know, you have to give me something in return. I'm getting the raw end of the deal. You getting love, protection. You got three kids. We don't know how they gonna turn up. They might become 18, 19 and say, you ain't my daddy. You ain't my MF and daddy. My dad, my, 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 my daddy, he's still around. He locked up. He gonna come home. He gonna take care of me. These are the stuff. These are things that I've had to deal with. These things that some of y'all had to deal with. And it's like, man, no, like we, we don't, we, a lot of people are, are saying no to that. Now, you know, let's say you have one kid or whatever, and you know, you got a, a good relationship with them and co-parenting, but it's, it can be very, it can be very dangerous. And a lot of times, you know, a lot of these just the baby daddy's crazy, you know? And it's like, do I really want to deal with that? You know, how I know he not going to show up and uh, pull a pistol out on me over his kids. What if your daughter say some wild stuff that ain't true? Are you going to believe me or are you going to believe her? These are things that that, that, that brothers are are starting to say. Now, again, 60, 60 plus years ago, a man, a man would have been honored in his community, honored to raise, to, to, to raise another child as he is. But it's like, you know, you might be a good woman, but your kids at the end of the day, because these are your kids. When we get into it, you're going to say, these my kids, these my kids your kids isn't necessarily an asset to me you know and uh and for me personally i have to know who your child's father your child's father is a wreck i'm not doing it i'm not doing it if he out of control i'm not no thank you you know but this is the, the this is the unfortunate reality of us dating you know and i have to tell my daughters this i don't care what y'all do don't have no kids out of wedlock because it it does not help you all that stepdaddy sees and all that, like, yeah, you'll get somebody to kick it with you. And I'm not talking about my daughters, just in general. You'll get somebody to kick it with you, maybe even travel with you. But how many people is going to actually put a ring on your finger and say, you my wife, these my kids. You know, a woman, a woman, a woman's power. She don't have any kids and she's nice and feminine and all of that. That's her real superpower you know but yeah i mean sister i'm sorry queen you can't be mad that that don't nobody necessarily want to deal with you because guess what if a brother's five feet and 300 pounds a sister tell you to me i don't want to deal with him he too short he ain't he, he ain't got the swag mm -mm. he don't turn me on he don't make me tingle so when we have standards it's a problem you know i just me and my daughter we got into it not I me mean, not a real argument but uh she about to be grown so she's like you know you men uh men are so shallow men are so shallow and I said, would you date somebody that's your height? And she paused and she was like, no. I said, so what's the difference? We all have standards. What's the difference? And she then she agreed what I was saying. She couldn't. But I had to give those type of examples. You know what I mean? Like this sister, I'm sure I'm sure she wants somebody who dealing with her. She don't want him probably working at McDonald's. 
being on the block she probably want a, a working class professional fine have your own preferences but then what does that person want the person that you want want want, want some things too and, and a lot of times you know brothers probably would date a lot more sisters with kids if they if if peace is brought into the family peace but because we're so chaotic it's like you know i'm i'm, I'm looking you know how many times i have met people oh yeah my son you know he be cutting up and i gotta go get him out of jail you think i'm finna date and deal with that i'm not i'm 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 sorry but i'm good i'll pass or i, I didn't seen people who they sons is running all over them they sons eight nine years old and the mama trying to be their friend go sit down and i'm like yo you know your kid is you know why don't you go make that boy go sit down somewhere oh no you know he'll be all right he just you know he'll calm down after a while but then he just be the same person that get the six three uh uh 250 all muscle and now he not listening you know and you think i want him to buck up on me no i'm straight i'll pass on that so you know i'm sorry i'm sorry sisters but you know you guys have to bring this into a factor when it comes to to getting with a brother really or anybody because any few day other somebody from other cultures you think they're gonna put up with that you really think they gonna put up with that y'all said y'all said we have all these things just imagine what other cultures you know what they will and won't won't be able to put up with I, just go to china I want a lot of people please please go to asia go to asia and just and and just study or you ain't got to study just sit back and watch the things that you see and you'll see how wicked we are as our people you know or look at other people in america look, look at their culture look at how they're brought up you know we just it's sad it's sad but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it you know sisters tell me how y'all feel about it fellas tell me what y'all think but yeah i want to get y'all opinions